Hey friends, welcome back to the Talk and Tile podcast, the official podcast of the How to Tile Like a Pro brand. I'm so excited to have back on for the second time from Ruby Tools, the man himself. Please welcome Charlie Delgado. Hey, how's it going everyone? So happy to be back with you guys over here to speak a little bit about Ruby Tools and a little bit of the new things that we got going on. I'm super excited to be with you guys. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Well, we're glad you're here, Charlie. And uh, man, we might just have to start calling you Santa because uh, you're wearing a red shirt. And every time you're on the podcast, there's a giveaway going on. <laughs> yes, it is. Very true. Very true. I'm not mad about it. I'm actually very happy that we get the chance to yeah. get your followers and the audience that is following yeah. us in the podcast. And obviously, with the incredible videos that you have, yeah. um, a little bit of what the great sauce that we have in hand can actually help with and new accessories that we're coming up with yeah yeah for real for absolutely so i mean without further ado i mean that's what the the main one of the main points of this podcast is to be able to give away um what you guys are giving away is is unbelievable i don't know do you want to share what you're giving away absolutely so like this week and until april 4th we're going to give everybody... No, no, no. Time. September 5th. I'm sorry. September. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> all my months already. Yeah, yeah. Up. It's going so yeah. fast. Can you believe yeah. that, like, in just a couple of months, we're going to be in Halloween already? I, I know. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. It's going fast. It's going fast. Did you enjoy summer at all or no? Ah, the summer has been amazing. It's yeah. been, you know, with the weather, we're in the Florida coast. So, oh. East Coast versus your West Coast. Yeah. Uh, the weather has been doing, uh, mm. it's normal, tropical storms and why not. So, uh, gotcha. wishing everybody uh, staying safe. Uh, hoping that everybody in Tampa now, the, apparently there's a couple of uh, thunderstorms and things oh, in the next gotcha. week coming up. So, we got to tell everybody in Tampa region, north of Florida, please be safe, be careful. Oh, nice. But... This week, and back to the actual uh, promotion we're doing right now, oh, uh, nice. the DT10 Inch Max, as you know, it's a wet sew that is becoming very popular yeah. between the options of wet sews that we're offering with Ruby Tools. And so this week and the next one, um, this month, and of yes. course, for a yeah. very <laughs> patriotic month, we're going to call it this, this yeah. upcoming month, because it's Labor Day weekend coming ahead yeah. of us. Yeah. Nice. And that's our perfect excuse to invite everyone <laughs> to join us on this raffle. So we're raffling um, a DT 10 inch max wet yes. saw. So nice. whoever actually gets to win this one, not only is going to get, and listen to this, is not only going to get the wet saw by itself because yes. we just launched a new accessory. And that yes. is an extension roller table that nice. the actual table that your solar comes with already can be exchanged for a longer one. Yeah. So allowing you, Tyler's professionals out there, do long, bigger pieces, cuts, yeah. and uh, it's a, as you know, it's a 10 inch blade wet yeah. saw. So this these new accessory is gonna, I believe it's gonna turn it into a, a game changer for those who yeah. already have a DT10. Yeah. Now they can get the extension table with their, their local distributors. And or if you're about to get the DT10, like in this case, the winner of this raffle yeah. is gonna win the wet saw, the table that comes with, yeah. and the extension table. Yeah, that's huge. That's huge. A round of applause for Ruby Tools for uh, you know, doing these raffles. That's amazing. So um that that's awesome. And hopefully uh, one of our listeners uh, wins wins it. If you do, please comment in the video and let us know you won it. We'd love to celebrate with you. But man, that that's amazing. And if you don't know about this new extension table yet, uh, or how it works with the DT10, I just posted a video on Sunday about it. So I'll put a link in the description. You guys can watch that, and you'll see how amazing this combination is. And I mean, I think you said it. You said game changer is what it is. It's right. really a game changer because tiles getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Almost every. Uh, other job we do is some sort of large format tile. I mean, it's 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 just it's that's just the way it is now, and everyone wants it because it's less grout joints. I think it's amazing. I think the large format tile it has a great look to it. It's definitely a uh, super popular and booming. But with that, installers have to change their methods. I mean, we have to change things up. Um, and we're gonna go with a trend, right? And yeah. the trend is taking you professional installers 
uh, contractors, people in the construction industry period are starting to work with these materials that come on a large scale. So yeah. large format, the popularity is not even just in the format, right? Because the truth is that now tile materials, the different, like from yeah. ceramic, porcelain, to natural stone, now you get them in different scale sizes, right? So from yeah. like a full sheet to like your typical 24 by 24s, or now the 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 tile that imitates textures and finishes, yeah. right? So you have your ceramic uh, tile that imitates wood uh, flooring, right? And or now these new materials that are getting very popular. Uh, I don't know if, if we're if we're allowed to say a couple of brands, but like I'm just coming to mind the Dibon, right? It's that's a yeah. sheet that now it's becoming very mm -hmm. popular from yeah. um, our partners as well yeah. um, in in. Promoting Decton or promoting Slap, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, Constantino, it's becoming one of the brands that it's getting popular yes. because the options that they offer. Yeah. So true. the, the Wetzos kind of need to jump on that game, right? So yes, absolutely. This is a Wetzo also that it's very portable. It comes with a structure that has wheels that it's easy yeah. to set up, right? So yeah. the idea is not only that it's going to be a powerful Wetzo, but it's also the portability that comes with yeah. it. Right. Which is one of the reasons why I think in our last uh, video together, we were talking about the DT 7-inch Max, which I love because it's, it's portable. It's, it's, <laughs> light, it's lightweight. You can carry it everywhere. Um, and, and me on my job, sometimes if I'm working alone or, or, or you know, and sometimes we do remodels. And so right. I like to put the saw right where we're working, you know. Um, so, so, but... What, what steered me away from the 10 inch saws was just, you know, having to lug it around and, and they're so heavy. So when I tried the DT 10 inch max, I was blown away at how easy it is to move. I mean, uh, the right. DT 10 inch max, especially this, I guess this is helpful for, um, you know, people who are listening to the podcast only not watching it. You can't see the things, but what you can uh, hear is that the, the DT 10 inch max is actually the uh, stand that it comes with has wheels on it but it collapses kind of like those it reminded me of the old chop saws you know the the carpenters would have they would wheel it around and so now us tile guys get that same benefit where the the saw actually collapses and you know what help it helps for storage too you know i, I was i was finding a place to put in my garage i'm like where am i going to put this and it yeah. just folds it stands vertically upright on the wheels and holds itself up so it's it's very easy to store Right. And to, to move it around, I mean, you don't feel any weight with it at all. You know, wheeling it around um, is, is very easy. And then to set it up is, is I mean, it takes literally seconds. I mean, you just unlock right. the lock there and it just it unfolds and it's ready to go. So it's right. like a, the benefits of a baby stroller, but with your tile saw. You know, I mean, that's a... Exactly. Yeah. It's, a way, it's a great way to put it because the portability and the way that it collapses that yes. allows it to put it, it fits in every construction site yeah. elevator. If yeah. you're like on a commercial spot or like on a condo yeah. kind of construction site, right? Yeah. You're like commercial or, or residential projects. For the residential projects, it's getting popular also. Easy to put on any stairway, yes. easy to carry. Yes, the wheels and why not? It's going to allow you to move this machine around. Yeah. Um, it, an important thing is also, obviously, it, it's a power wet so right? So you need the power. Yeah. You want to be able to plug it in. in a, one of the tips, right? So never use an extension cord that is too long because clearly that's going to probably not help the power in the in the wet. So like your yeah. basic standard knowledge of like, okay, you, yeah. you're working with a wet saw. The beauty of this one, you can bring anywhere on a job yeah. site. Easy to transport, easy to come along, bring along. And the base itself, you can put it on your base with the wheels. You can put it out now. This very important new topic of the new extension roller table, yeah. we have to mention the table itself, it's very easy to, to replace, let's say. So, right? yeah. You're going to take off the one that it comes with yeah. and you're going to put this new one. It's a roller because it goes in the same rollers, yeah. panel kind of structure that the base has, right? So the yeah. in and out of it, it's, it's going to be very easy. Now, here's the tip though. It's coming with two extensions uh, legs is how I like to call yes, it. Yes, that's true. Those are very important. Tylers who does have the DT10 already, and you're going to use your extension roller table, you want to make sure that you're securing the legs, yeah. with the extra legs that it's going to come with. Those are yeah. additional as well. You want to put 
put them on on your, yeah. on your legs because it's gonna give you this stability that these be, being a bigger roller extension table yeah the machine itself the base is gonna need that you no know? so yeah it comes with them but important pieces to keep you know an eye on because they're small they're easy to, yeah. to lose or why not so you always want to keep them uh, handy of course you know? so that you have that option of yeah. being able to exchange your roller table yeah, and it's cool because the legs, um, I mean, they just, they're, they're, I mean, I like how you guys designed it. It's an add-on. It's an add-on to a, a saw right. that's already, the saw's fine. It does what it does, but adding on the 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 new longer tray, um, yes. which, like I said, like you were saying, it's super simple to do. You literally just right. take out the tray and put a new one in, and that's it. You Correct. upgraded your tile saw. I mean, I think that the the thumbnail that I did for that video about it, I put, I customized this saw because it's, it's really you're customizing the saw, which right. prop, props to Ruby Tools for thinking of that because without that, another a person say who owns a DT10 and mm-hmm. needs to cut something that's four foot, you know, you have to buy a whole new saw for that. Not anymore. You're not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. If you have, I think that's cool. It's like you're, uh, it's not being like the iPhone, you know, where the iPhone that you have to like get a new, all accessories. Well, this is, this is being cool because you're able to upgrade what you already have. So you already made the investment. You have a DT10. It's great. It does the job. It's amazing saw. But now guess what? Now your job has a super long tile. You know, like the one I did in the video, it, it was, uh, a four foot long tile and it, it I right. can't cut it. I can't cut it on the DT 10, right. but putting on the tray now we can cut it. So there's a, there's a few options. You know, you can obviously buy a big rail saw, right. um, which you guys make amazing rail saws. I've had my, what is it called? The two fifty DX, whatever. Yes. It's like a big rail. saw. we're actually, we actually use it today on a job because, uh, nice. Um, it, this job re- required it. So, but it's huge. Right. It's big, and, and I love it. I've had it for many, many years, and it works like a charm. It runs amazing. Um, yes. but, but the setup is different. It's so you adapt to the nature of yeah. the job site, the project that you're working yeah. with, and the truth is, Frankie, a lot of now the tilers are working indoor and outdoors. Yeah, and so these wet so gives it gives you that also chance. Yeah. To be able to set up your your station, let's say, yes, right, yeah. uh, in in all different types of locations, adapting yeah. yourself to yeah. the job site, yeah. and that's pretty important. I th- we think, of course, no? yeah, it, it is, it is, and so, like, if I didn't have this big rail saw. Or if you don't have one, you have to go buy one, and they're not cheap. You know, they're not. So right. the the fact that you can just buy an extension tray and cut up to fifty inches, I mean, right. that's a that's amazing. That's amazing to to spend a, a small investment, and now you can cut up to fifty inch tiles right like that in a matter of seconds. You know, and another important uh, part to worth to mention. It has an incredible warranty. So oh, if nice. anything happens to this machine, nice. right, it's a new model. So we need to also yeah. let our folks, you know, like everything new, anything that is innovative, it's going to come with its faults. And at some point, we, we've discovered there's things yeah. that we've been able to improve. So with this new roller extension table that we're bringing as the accessory for this wet saw, mm-hmm. it also obviously has every other Ruby product, as you know, yeah. as its warranty. So... We want to recommend the folks that actually get their DT10 and they get their extension table, of course, for introductory purposes. We're going to give a specific value of the table. So if you get your table extra, you still want to register that as a Ruby product in the app and the Ruby app because that's going to help you extend the warranty. Nice. So, And that's something that, as we all know, when you're talking about investment with yeah. your own equipment, yeah. you want to be protected. And Ruby gives you that out of the back. You have already two years warranty, and when you register, we extend that warranty. So depending on the wow. but with the DT10, it's important. It's something you wanna go and yeah. wanna do it because it's in your own benefit that you are protected yeah. with a warranty, right? So the, it only takes a quick, easy registration on the app. It's very quick, and and we can always guide nice. you, of course, if you have any problems nice. <laughs> doing yeah, the process, yeah. Call yeah, me awesome. or email me, and I can help. Yeah, it's good. It's good to have a reputable brand like that. And like I said, I've I've uh, 
had my other Ruby saw for many, many years, and it still works like a charm. It actually smashed into my window one time. It broke my window. It bro- it wasn't obviously the saw's fault. It was the the the, the city. They they were doing a work on this street, and it was a bad patch job. But I had my big saw. Of course, it sticks out of the half half of you know sticks out past my bed. Right. Uh, and and I went over it, and and it was it was strapped. The saw was strapped to my truck, so it wouldn't go okay. out. But it just lifted enough to ram my window and crack it open. <laughs> so I, I was hoping that it didn't damage the saw. But it saw runs great. It still didn't damage it at all. It's, it's a perfect saw. Right. So I'm um, very grateful with uh, the quality of Ruby Tools. But um, well, going back to... Trying. We're always trying to yeah. innovate, to get new stuff into your hands that yeah. is going to make the work easier and better each time. Yeah. You know? yeah. So DT10 is no exception. And this Labor Day weekend, folks, please... Please give yourself the chance yeah. to win for yes. free, yes. absolutely free, by an easy, quick registration on our landing page. Yeah. I know that uh, Rick is going to be sharing with everyone in the podcast yes. link. So you folks want yes. to try, give it a try. You have nothing yeah. to lose and a lot to win, right? Yeah, yeah. hopefully you win. that's awesome. I mean, it's a great setup. I mean, like you said, I love how... The the going back to what you're talking about the legs they're um it's very easy they they attach very easy that's what I was saying that it's just uh, the way you guys design it you just you don't have to unscrew anything you just screw them on there and and they stay on there I just you just fold them in right. so you don't lose them and it gives it stability because I think that's what impressed me the most using this saw it what impressed me the most was. When I saw how huge a tray was in person, it's like way bigger than I thought. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. And then I put it on the tray and I'm like, I mean, it's it's brilliant, but I'm thinking, is this going to be stable? But I think the number one thing that impressed me using it was how stable and sturdy the whole saw was. It didn't shake. Right. It was it was like very stable. And I know those legs help support it because uh, you'll see in the video when you when you extend the tray all the way through. I mean, it's overhanging like a couple feet right. past, you know. Exactly. But it, I mean, the the tile I cut was seven eighths of an inch thick. It was heavy tile, and it it felt secure. It felt stable. Now so, I have to ask you though, what kind of blade were you using? Because that's another thing though. Every yeah. wet so part of the magic of their their effectiveness and functionality, yes. right? It's using the proper blade. So this DT10, as you know, it's a, called a 10 because it works with a 10-inch blade. Yes. So you want to make sure that you're also using the proper blade for the material and the type of tile that you're that you're customizing or yeah. you're cutting, correct? So if you need if you're cutting glass tile, you want to use a glass blade. Yeah, true. If you're, using, if you're cutting natural stone or ceramic. A stone that like now we have a, nowadays also materials that are very dense, very yeah. and, and the like porcelain, the porcelain, porcelain, so they're, they're beautiful. Dense. Some of them could be challenging cutting. Yeah. So the DT10 comes to the yeah. play and like no problem whatsoever if you have the proper blade. True. So one of the ones that I love now, ojo, this one comes yeah. already with the arrowhead. It's an yes. incredible blade. Yeah. People love it, and because. Again, we're feeling great of giving extra perks to all of our folks. This this machine comes with an extra blade. So you want to have that extra blade. And in between, just inviting everybody also to check all the different um, types of blades that Ruby Tools offers. On the 10-inch, of course, but as everyone else, we have it on all sizes, depending on the wet that you're playing with. In this case, for the 10 inches, we have several good ones uh, worth to check out. Depending, again, on the type of material you're going to be cutting, you want to select the proper blade. So be careful with that. And another thing is also maintenance, no? It's very important to talk a little bit on the topic. Yeah. People, you want to clean your wet so when you finish the <laughs> job. Like, I know it becomes this kind of like discipline thing. Like, like, eating That's the last thing we want to do at the end of the I job, know. you know? <laughs> you talk about it, right? Because like, yeah, once you're done, you're like, okay, I want to go. I'm, yeah. I'm ready to close yeah. shop. Close shop with the cleaning of your wet so people. <laughs> Keep that in mind, please. No, so the DT10, again, as every other wet saw, no? you want to keep uh, the maintenance that it requires, like every other wet saw. You want to clean up your tables. You want to clean up the tank when you're, uh, you know, because as you know, the tray in this machine recycles the actual water. So this is an incredible model that comes with our two main things that we love to talk about. 
the uh, Python system that allows yes. you to bring the water. That's great. Right to the spot That's where good. the blade is making contact with the towel while you're cutting. I the machine that. has a launch effect that allows you to adapt to the height of the material you're working, right? But also on the table, it, this is a wet saw that allows you not only to do straight cuts, but miter cuts as well. Yeah. So the table that it comes with and the extension roller table, this new accessory one, yeah. they both come already with their markings and the channels where the blade goes Perfect. if you're doing a straight cut or a miter cut. So if you're going on an angle, the table has its, you know, design. it's designed for it, of course. Gotcha. So it's something that uh, you cannot, and this is worth to mention as well, for those who have a DT7 and would like to have an extension roller table, oh, that is only <laughs> available for the yeah. DT10. For yeah. the moment, yeah. you know, it's an accessory. Yeah. So uh, when and I get it because it's, I mean, tiles are big. They're big and they're heavy. And, you know, right. I mean, DT7 is amazing, but, I mean, to put a, four foot tile on the on a smaller saw i, I don't know right you can't do that exactly. <laughs> make sure you're using the proper yeah. tool right in this yeah. case well the dt10 is the one <laughs> saw that you can extend the table and work with bigger. you know what i was impressed with with the dt10 yes now, i'm not sure because like i said i haven't been using uh regular 10 inch saws in in a while mm -hmm. so i don't know if this is the new thing but i was shocked at how it can cut 36 inch tiles with a re regular tray. Fascinating, right? That, I mean, that blue, I'm like, dang, this thing is already huge because, I mean, right. that that's great. I mean, I mean, back when I was using, ten, I think two foot was the max you could cut on a, on a regular size standard 10 inch saw. So to add a, you know, the regular tray it comes with, you can cut 36 inch tile. I mean, that's, that's amazing. That's great. Everything's getting bigger, so some jobs you may not even need the extension tray right. um, because it already has the uh, additional, you know, foot there. Thirty-six inch rip cut. That's that's awesome. That's great. Thank and you. then yeah, and then extending, of course, the the new extension. You're going up to fifty inches, which is awesome. And I think you might be able to get fifty-one if it's a thinner tile. I I don't know. It, it looked like it to me. In a moment, you could yeah. probably try like yeah. accomplish it, right? Yeah, yeah. But it might be a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But I know, and, and again, some of the people that follows you are true professionals that have been doing in the industry for several years already. So this is a tool also that is not, you know, yes, it's for everyone doing work on, on tile installation. And for a wet, so this is a powerful one that you would definitely want to put on your roster of tools, specifically yeah. is you're starting to venture more and more on large format. For sure no. yeah for sure absolutely a couple other key things I, I, I like you mentioned that water python system that's very cool it shoots massive amounts of water i mean the and standard... it really pulls down the blade through the process uh, of the cutting it... and makes the clean cut so your yeah. cut's not going to it's going to be perfect but yeah. because you're pro you're providing the amount of water required yeah. To cool down your blade while you're cutting the, yeah. especially when you're cutting dense materials, right? Yeah. Heavy, yeah. thick ones. And you can absolutely do it with this wet saw, again, with the proper blade and using yeah. the, the, the proper plunge level. Yeah. But the, the Python, putting the water to that cooling moment when your blade, yeah. and it's just going to extend the the life of the blade as the well. Blade, yeah. So you're yeah. doing the proper cool. Yeah, that was that was a good perk I noticed. Of course, it's a powerful 15 amp motor, which right. it, it it just ripped. I used the standard uh, blade; it came with Arrowhead blade, yep. and man, it just cut through this seven inch, uh, seven eighth of an inch. Uh, yep. It was lava stone, it, and it just cut it like butter. It cut it really nice, and so I was very impressed with the power of the saw. You know, it was yes. uh, I was doing a demo with it with some glass tile and a different blade, yep. and 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 it was pulling. It was I had to like. Normally you got to push forward. I had to pull backwards because that uh, it would just get, it just get. It's a very powerful motor, so I was impressed with that. I also thought how it was. Cool. Like, tell me a little what? bit about how you like the fact that in this case, because it's a roller table, right? So you're moving the tile yeah. towards the blade instead yeah. of to, as, as you mentioned before, right? Yeah. For those of you who are more accustomed to work with your bridge saw, yeah, you know, the bridge versus the 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 plunge effect and the yeah. actual dynamic that the dt10 gives you it's, it's slightly different because now you're moving the table so you're moving the material yeah. towards the blade 
that makes a difference. So as an installer, as a as a professional, you and you now that you get to play with both sides of the coin, <laughs> tell us a little bit how how do you feel the difference of it? Like how do you like it? Um, it's obviously easier for for fast quick cuts, you know, because you, you you could just rest it on the blade on the tray. You rest the cut on the tray and you push through it, and it, it's easy, it's quick, it's fast. The gauge works really well with it. Uh, it, it cut very accurate, by the way. I mean, very, very accurate. I mean, from right out of, out of the box. I didn't have to adjust anything. I opened it up, cut it in right. perfectly. So I, I love that. I do – about the uh, – you call it the bridge saw. I don't know. The rail saw I call it. That bridge right. saw. Now, the, the benefit of those, the, I think the biggest perk of those is for a very um, large tile. Right. Like what, we were, what I was doing today is you can cut it very accurate by just – you know, you could put the saw on the, on the two pencil marks on both sides of the tile before right. I even turn the saw on. I make sure it's it's so basically because right. obviously, you know, when you're pushing the, the tile with a tray through the blade, if it's a very dense porcelain, sometimes uh, depending on the blade, the cheaper blade, sometimes they'll bend, they'll move. Right. So you could start right but and by the time you get to that end, you could be a sixteenth like, off. You could be an eighth <laughs> off, so it's a little off. So uh, the trick is the beauty of, of the DT10, because it has a plunge effect, sometimes what I'll do is I'll still do that mark where I plunge both ends first, score it across the top, and I can get a perfect cut like that. It, only on the dense porcelain that's, that has a tendency to want to uh, move the blade a little bit so with the rail saw uh the bridge saw that one uh, is awesome that's the same way i do it cut it both on on both sides and go all the way across i kind of just score it back and forth and it really just brings an accurate super accurate and, and never have to uh, worry about it not not even being a 16th off you know it's perfect right. it's perfect perfect cuts um so no, I was curious because obviously when when you get to to do both spectrums, right? You, yeah. you try both types of wet saws. Sometimes it comes down to like what's your preference, no? Yeah. And and again, also if you're doing intensive cutting, obviously the table setup and the bigger saw is always yeah. going to be faster in that yeah. sense. But then it comes with the preparation, right? So it's, yeah. as long as you do your own preparation yeah. properly. Then you get the results. No, with the DT10, it's a little bit more forgiving in that sense. You can yeah. planify a little easier, and like yeah. I said, it allows you to adapt a little bit to. And know, it's just faster to me. In the job yeah, side. Yeah, I think it's just a faster method with the DT10. It's it's faster than the the, the bridge saws. I mean, there's there's a lot of adjusting, setting up to do. I mean, it, it's a little bigger of investment. I mean, they're huge. They're heavy. It's, you know, right. uh, of course, but yours, I mean, it has wheels. So people trip out. I, the, I have the huge bridge, bridge saw. I mean, I don't know how big. It's gigantic, okay? I move, it, I move it around by myself. I put it in my truck and off of my truck alone. I don't need, you know, there's a guy who was there. Oh, he saw me pulling. Oh, you need a hand? I go, no, no, I got it. It's easy. You just pivot it. You just tilt it down. It's got wheels on one side. I could walk right. around the whole block with it. I mean, it's a, it's, exactly. it's, yeah. So, so I'm very impressed with it. If you, if you need a rail saw or a bridge saw, I definitely check out Ruby's bridge saws. They're amazing. They last us. I mean, they had mine for, gosh, how long has it been? <sighs> We love to hear these stories because then then people yeah. start inheriting them, right? So it's like yeah. your people in your family had one big and it's so big that they're like, you sometimes even get it passed on, right? Yeah. Ruby has a lot of those stories and yeah. we love to hear that. Oh, okay, you, know? you, want, you want to know what's hilarious. <laughs> I, I'm going to make a video. I just been, I've been, I'm backed up on my videos, but I have a video of, of one of my installers. He has, a, he's a 41 year tile guy, okay? Nice. He's been to tile for 41 wow. years. And mm -hmm. he has a really old Ruby saw. I mean, not saw. No, no, no. Manual cutter. A manual I mean, cutter. Okay. It's what? it's not, it's not even red. It's orange. Okay. It's it's yeah. Ruby and Felker. <laughs> it's very. And I was laughing when I saw that. I go, what is that? Look like the caveman made that. You know. <laughs> And it yes. has, it's the old one with the little handle where after you score it, you got to like push it forward and it, and it right. pops the tile. Yeah. Uh, it, it's amazing. And I said, man, how, how does it last so long? And he goes, cause I don't let anyone use it, <laughs> 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 but it just shows There's the so quality trophies. I, for yeah. those people that, you know, you, you keep it and, and, and they yeah. truly last that long. 
We yeah. have a, a couple of folks also like that. And like from, I call them like relics, you know, like yeah. really true yeah. classics. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And they're still around. They're still snapping and cutting, you know. Yeah. I mean, good, I mean. Good scoring wheels. He doesn't upgrade it because there's no need to. He said it cuts perfect. It cuts perfect and he loves the way it cuts. And, yeah, and sure. I'm like, wow, unbelievable. But you got to see, I'm going to make a video soon and I'll send it to you. Because it, it just looks, Please. it looks classic vintage, you know, but. uh right. Right. Uh, yeah, well, we but love my- to hear these stories. Please yeah. always uh, go, as you know, also uh, worth to mention in both your page and our page, we have a Facebook page. We're always posting videos and actual demonstrations as well of how to, you know, work with our tools and always giving the opportunity to our folks to give us our their comments, their opinion about how, how is it going in their job sites, what kind of challenges they're facing, and then what are the solutions that they're experimenting with our tools we yeah. love to hear that so obviously yeah. please get, follow us on our social platforms because yeah. we're obviously always trying to help as well there either with education on our channels as well well as you know your videos are incredible and we love to to collaborate with you of course and i can't wait to see the video that you're yeah. gonna come up with vt10 as well yeah and thank you I well, you, ha- you haven't seen it yet huh you haven't seen the video yet not with the vt10 though I oh. saw your, your recent one with a, a manual cutter. But I haven't you haven't seen, seen the one that, with the extension tray. You haven't seen it? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, but dude, you have to go see it. It's it's live. I posted on Sunday. Awesome. We're going. We're going. Yeah. And everyone, please go and check it yeah. out as well. Because <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, I'll send it to you. Time. I'll send it to you after. It, it was great. I mean, I, I, it was great. I was very impressed with it. And, and you'll see the I, – I show people how to take off the, the tray and put it on. So it's very awesome. Easy, right? Very, very easy. So, I mean, that's it. That's the DT10. It's very powerful saw. I, I'm loving it. And uh, I've, I've only used it on that one uh, time so far. But, I mean, it really worked like a charm. I was very impressed with how stable it was with giant, thick, heavy, four-foot tile I was cutting. Um, so, uh, I am look forward to using it. I'm going to use it on that whole job. We got, like, three pallets of tile to install. So, I'm going to, I'm taking that and we're just going to use it to install the whole project. So, um, I'll, I'll put, I'll make another video after I use it a, a while and stuff like that. But, but that's, well, um, I- that's, um, I mean, part of the reason I, I brought the rail saw to, to the job today is because, uh, I didn't want the guy, other guys to use the, the DT 10 yet. <laughs> so I left, I had to leave that saw on the job, you know, so I set it up yeah. today, showed them how to use it. So they're going to be using the rail saw. I'm like, I- I'm going to take the DT 10 on, on my other project. So. It's funny. Right. So we're going to give the chance to everyone to fall in love with this wet saw. Just a little by little, I'm hoping yeah. you will do as well. These raffle folks, we have it active now. You can go yeah. register now. We're going to give them the chance until September 6th. So yeah. this Labor Day weekend, it's kind of like the yeah, moment yeah. you just want yeah, to get this up, done build and register. Yeah. You know, because you can win the wet saw and the roller table extension. Yeah, that's a good a combo. Great combo accessory and it's a combo exactly that we're offering in this raffle promotion yeah. so for the month of september a uh, very patriotic month we want to give everyone that chance and of course letting everybody to have an incredible holiday of course for labor day as well so what better chance than with the chance and opportunity to win yes it yes it could be <laughs> yours it's amazing saw i know i know whoever wins it is gonna love it as much as i do um, so that's awesome. Well, well, that's good, man. And what's the latest with Ruby Tools? I mean, you, you guys got so much going on. You got the TZ eighteen hundred. Oh my gosh! If you're cutting, the, see, no, no, oh man, we're supposed to end in. I keep talking, but check this out. <laughs> I'm the, gonna have you're gonna have to have me back again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real, for real, Santa. <laughs> next time we does all the time. We're like doing <laughs> Santa, yeah, you have to give something away now. That, that's gonna have to be your standard now. Every time you come on, you have to give something away. <laughs> oh, definitely something. We- Range, for sure but so there's so many different um great products you have the tz1800 if you haven't seen this manual cutter you can cut what up to 60 inch tiles i believe is it 60 Bingo. inch tiles yes in, in for seconds manual cutter, it's it's pretty impressive it's that thing is, it's taller than me i'm a short person i'm not gonna no, lie it's taller <laughs> than me i'm 5'10 and that's tall way taller than me you know um but the thing is this is this is what i think is cool is Yes, that's an amazing cutter. It's great, yes. but it can't cut stone. Again, you got to choose your battles and have yeah. the proper tool 
for so, the tro- the proper battle. Exactly. No? So I use that to cut war, but we'll get you into the battle with a proper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I mean, I think it's cool. I mean, it, that's why I think you need both. You can't do either, or you right. can't have a manual cutter without the saw and the saw because different projects require different things. So my yeah. TZ eighteen hundred, I'm carrying that everywhere with me. I cut it cuts so clean, so fast. It's just perfect. But here I am on a job, and I got three crates of lava stone that's seven eight inches thick. I can't cut it. So what am I going to do? Uh, bring the big rail saw, or now I could have the DT10 with wheels, move it around anywhere I want, and now I could still cut 50-inch tile. So I think it's great to realize that there's there's both there. But if you haven't seen the TZ1800, uh, check out this video. I'll put I'll put a link in there. You can see it. It's it's a really cool pro- product. Um, really that's... great, great model of a of a manual cutter. But these new models specifically. Now we're speaking about sizes. The yeah. 1800 is definitely the newest it's, size yeah. that if you get your hands on one of those, Oof. you'll easily fall in love with it as well. It's then, quick. It's yeah. clean. It's a clean cut. Again, yeah. like everything in your wetsuits, you need to make sure that your your diamond plates are, are good. Yeah. With your manual cutter, you want to make sure your scoring wheel also yeah. it's playing the part. So at some point, you're going to have to, you know, replace those. Make sure it's a ruby scarring wheel, of course. Yeah, yeah, Plus, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not for nothing, there's, they're the ones that last the best, right? So yeah. uh, so for a manual cutter from ruby, you want to have a ruby scoring wheel as well. well but we, we have we, options. Yeah. There's the yeah. extreme scoring wheel. There's the yeah. endure scoring wheel. So check on the charts also what's the best scoring wheel to work with, depending on the mm-hmm. material that you're cutting as well. No? Gotcha. Those are the tips. Very cool. Anything else coming in the uh, uh, head? What's what's the what's the yes. uh, what's the you greatest know, secrets you can give? Yes. Okay. So there's a quick exclusive by the end of this semester. So very close to October, we're going to be announcing the uh, we're going to be welcoming new tools. And oh, nice. these tools, some of them are tools that you already know that you already love. But here's the catch, and here's what it's going to make them so special. Battery operated, baby. Whoa, Don't we all love no cordless way. materials, wow. cordless equipment that allows you to move easier without having yeah. to be plugged yeah. to the power, right? So, wow, you heard it first up. here, guys. You heard it first right here. Cordless tools is coming soon. <laughs> From Ruby Tools, we wow. partner with an incredible company that is uh, mm. allowing us to get the quality level on the batteries mm. and the the you know the power that they need and being rechargeable, being a tool that you're gonna mm. again, it's a battery operated tool. Uh, there's a few. I guess I could give you a couple of clues. <laughs> Some of them are going to be for vibrating and like getting your oh, bond in with the thin set, you gotcha, know. Gotcha, gotcha. Some others are going to be great for mixing your products. Really? And, you know, oh, you don't that have a table yeah. makes it more interesting. Wow. Uh, especially with all the kinds of different thin sets and epoxies mm. that are coming out there yeah. uh, for for you know your thin sets and your yeah your installation of the tile. So the mixer, uh, it's going to be a big, good uh, wow. new addition to the router. Very. Already models that we have, this one to be cordless. So wow. there you have it, folks. A few of those coming by the end wow. of this year, 2023. We're going to close the year. Uh, uh, very exciting with new tools and tools that hopefully, you know, wow. are going to be coming. That, that is super favorite. cool. You heard it first right here in the Talking Tile podcast, people. <laughs> so, yes, that's very cool. Very cool. Looking forward to that. But you mentioned the mixer. I, I know um, we should be wrapping up, but that mixer, yeah. the Ruby mixer, I, I, I got, I bought it uh, a couple months ago. Amazing, okay. amazing yes. mixer. What I love about it is yes. uh, now I'm, I'm planning on making a video about it to demonstrate it for people. But yes. the two things I love about it the most is that the paddle screws on. Yes, that yes. We made it easy to exchange when you're having to clean your mixer. Yeah. You know, again, in the recommendations, you always yeah. want to clean your mixer when you're finishing yeah. <laughs> your mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I, what I love is the bit, one of the biggest struggles is it, we used to have a. Um, I mean, we normally used to use it just a Dewalt mixer with a chuck key, yeah. you know. Yeah. But the problem is, you know, you get thick, thin set or mud. You're mixing in there, and and it just comes loose. So we always got a chuck key. It, Tighten it, tighten it, tighten it. Keep. Sometimes you just tighten it all day long. Well, 
I mean, I've been using the the Ruby mixer, and obviously, you never have to tighten it. Literally, never. I mean, I, I've mixed uh, deck mud with it. Okay. In, in a bucket, I mix wall float with, with it, and uh, even stiff thin set. And I mean, it, obviously, it just can't come loose. It just doesn't come loose at all. So you never have to worry about that, which is a huge relief that. for for the yeah. guys mixing. Yeah. Um, and then of course the, the power it has, it has two, sp- yeah. you put it to the second speed. That thing is so powerful. Um, because of the, the, the shape of the, the paddle too. It has the, the, yeah. the kind of like the, what do you call it? Like, uh, ellipse. Uh, ellipse. Yeah. That's what, that's that what you guys call it. The ellipse, that shape, I mean, yeah. it just whips, you could feel it pulling the thin set up right. and down. So normally I teach you guys, you know, when you're mixing things that you want to go around and up and down, but this thing kind of pulls everything right. down. So and um, when you're using them as well, as you know, Ruby tools, we're very, very big in ergonomics mm-hmm. and not for nothing, but yeah. it, it really, our mixers are really yeah. comfortable to yeah. work with because yeah. we've paid so close attention yeah. to the ergonomics, yeah. the new models, the newest models. Now we have a, a Ruby Mixer 9 and Super Torque. That's my favorite, of course, as the different models that we have. Yeah. But if you want power, honey, super power wow. with a wow. Super Torque. Wow. Mixer yeah. I didn't even know you had different different models. I thought there was just yep. one mixer. But the one, it has two handles on it. It's <laughs> it's it, it's great and you know what this is this is uh i mean not to knock other brands or whatever i i never like to do that because you know two we're, all the are great. we're all in the game yeah yeah exactly there's love for everybody but right. the thing that impressed me the most about the ruby mixer is it comes with a paddle so you don't have to buy an additional paddle and it was actually cheaper than the dewalt that i always buy and you can get different paddles my friend as well like it's gonna come with yeah. but Again, on the accessory yeah. side, you can always yeah. get the proper paddle. There's different models as well of the paddles, depending on the type of mixture yeah. that you need to accomplish. Yeah. So again, always making sure that we're following the directions of you know yeah. the manufacturers of the things that you're working with. And yeah, they exactly. Will you that type of direction. How much time? Some some yeah. some uh, some of these materials now come with a timing kind of secret, like epoxies. I don't know if you work with epoxies. Yeah. They're phenomenal. Yeah. But it's tricky. You yeah. need to know. Slow speed, There's... slow speed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So again, always making the huge. And that's what's uh, great. That the, the yeah, your mixer you could very on... drop it to the first speed for epoxy. We were I was mixing epoxy. I drop it lower. Go and then it's it's touch control. So the lighter you press the trigger, you could slow it down. And right. You pull the, squeeze the trigger all the way. It speeds it right back up. So I thought that was cool. And I mean, and the, I mean the biggest perk. It's it, it like I said the mixer with the the paddle, the paddle was cheaper than just the mixer of the Dewalt one that I I, I normally buy. Right. Plus I still got to buy a paddle if I had the Dewalt. So I don't know. It was it was a bargain. I mean I'm like wow. It's, it's I expected it to be more expensive because it has way more power than the Dewalt. It has way more power. Right. So um, again, there's models. There's we have three different models. And the fourth one coming up by the end of the year. Really? Oh my goodness! <laughs> now that That's it's going to awesome. be the That's battery great. upgraded. Well, now I'm so not even sure what model I have. Then now I didn't know. I thought there was the only one. I thought there was a new one, but I have some model and it works amazing. Whatever one I have, I'll make a video about it soon. But awesome, awesome, we great love mixer. To hear that thing. Yes, so awesome. Much. Well, thank you again, Charlie, for coming on. And you guys, you heard it first right here. A lot of great things coming. Most importantly, we hope you win this DT 10 inch max with the extension table. Uh, we'll put a link right here in the description so you can sign up. And um, if you are listening to this after September 6th, that means you need to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss the content. You can hear the podcast right when it comes out so you can take advantage of this. So hopefully you're listening to this before the cutoff. But um, if you heard it afterwards, thank you for listening. It's still great, Saul. But fortunately, you are not going to win it. <laughs> but if you put on your bell notifications and subscribe, um, you will be the first to hear the podcast and uh, first to get a chance to win. So there you go. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you again, Charlie. I appreciate you coming out and bringing gifts with you. <laughs> and we'll look forward to hearing all the great things you guys. You guys are always coming out with great tools. I love it. I love all the innovation the design thinking of the uh, contractor 
and uh, making sure that we are getting a good return on our investment, that when we choose Ruby Tools, we have the backing of your, your brand with us, your quality and great durable tools that will stick and help us do our jobs a lot better. We're here to help, Frank. We're here to help. We have incredible warranties and we have great products that is going to make your life easier. And our goal at the end of the day is to help you to always deliver and deliver quality. And quality comes with a great service. And you folks, Tyler, professionals out there, you have incredible tools nowadays. It's a different era. We're yes. changing the game on construction, especially with the kind of uh, new tools that we're allowing ourselves to bring into your table. So please take advantage of Ruby tools and all the innovation that we're trying to put into this. It's with a lot of heart and love that we're obviously doing it, but because you need it and we identify the need to actually cater for your needs. So there you have it. Labor Day weekend, an important day to register. This DT10 can be yours. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks, you guys, for listening. We'll see you next time on the Talking Tile Podcast.